Hi guys, this is a tutorial on how to set up your iPhone 3G or 3GS using AT&T's prepaid Go plan. Um, I'm making this tutorial because a lot of the other videos that I found on YouTube were pretty vague and I wanted a step-by-step -step process that I could use, that I could have a little bit of confidence in um, instead of risking $20 to $50 on something that may or may not work. Um, like I said, this works for 3G and 3GS. It may also work for iPhone 4. I'm not positive, but I know there are some other videos that can help you out with that. The first thing you need to do is get a phone. I purchased this phone off of eBay. It is a 3G 8 gigabyte. It is unlocked and jailbroken. You do not need to use a jailbroken phone. Um, you can use either a unlocked phone or a phone that's equipped for AT&T service. Um, either way, it'll work perfectly fine. The first thing you want to do when you get your phone is remove your SIM card slot. Um, you will need to purchase a new SIM card. See, it'll say no SIM card installed. Um, You'll need to purchase a new AT&T SIM card. Again, I bought this one off the internet. I got it on eBay for about, I don't know what it was, like $3 with shipping. Um, this is a regular AT&T 3G SIM card. It is not an AT&T to-go SIM card, prepaid to-go phone, um, but you can use either one will work fine. Also, there's some speculation as to what type of a pattern you need to have on the back of your SIM card. Um, either pattern will work perfectly fine. I believe there's two different types. Um, this is technically the patterns that that's not supposed to work, but it worked perfectly fine for me. So once you have your phone and your new um, AT&T unactivated SIM card, what you'll need to do is um, call the AT&T service number. That number is 1-800-331-0500. Again, it's 1-800-331-0500. Um, an automated computer will come on and ask you a series of questions. Um, a menu is going to come up. Choose the menu option that says activate my AT&T prepaid Go phone. Um, even though you don't have a Go phone and you haven't purchased one at the store, this is the menu option you're going to use to complete this process. They're going to tell you that you need to have your package and your phone ready and your SIM card. Don't worry about that. All you need is a pen to write some information down, your iPhone and your SIM card. The first thing they're going to ask you is to give your um, SIM card identification number. There's a large number that goes along the top of your SIM card. Um, once you enter that into the phone, they will ask you if you are using a smartphone. Let them know that you are not using a smartphone. Um, if you tell them that, they may not allow you to use the service or they may change your data plan. So again, it does not affect your phone usage, but make sure you tell them you are not using a smartphone. Um, next, they're going to ask you to enter what's called an IMEI number. This is a 15-digit identification number for any mobile phone. Um, it does not matter what number you enter. You can make up any random 15 digits. Um, you can enter a friend's phone. You can enter your existing phone that you have. It doesn't matter. Um, I recommend that you don't use your iPhone's IMEI number. Um, I chose to use a number that I found off of a Google image search. worked perfectly fine for me. Once you set up your enter your SIM card identification number and your IMEI number they will give you a phone number um, once you have your phone number they're gonna ask you what type of a plan you'd like to select now if you'd like to do this using an existing phone number it's a little bit more of a complicated process you will need to call and speak to a person instead of a computer and you'll need to sign a waiver from your previous um, phone company letting them know that you're willing to give up your existing phone number but again, after you have given, been given your phone number by AT&T, that means your SIM card is now activated. Next, they will ask you um, what type of a plan you would like. Now, you don't have to purchase a plan right in the spot. You can do it at a later time, or you can select your plan that you would like. I, I selected the AT&T $50 Unlimited Talks, Text, and Web plan for um, one month. Once you do that, they'll ask you which way you want to pay. I chose credit card. You will enter some credit card information to the computer, and then they will direct you to a live um, customer service representative who will ask you to get your name and um, phone number and uh, street address. Once you do that, instantly, the minute you uh, enter on all that information, the SIM card automatically becomes activated. It is given service. So once the guy tells you your phone is good, um, you take your phone, put it back into your sim card slot just go ahead and slip it right back into your iphone um, and it might say for a second no sim or no service but as soon as you'll see this little bar here and it'll come up that it says at&t and you do in fact have service 
so I'm going to go ahead and dial 611, which is AT&T's uh, service line. You can't call this number if you don't have any service, so this is just to prove to you that it does, in fact, work. So um, it's a great little system. It's a great way to save money on your phone. If you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments section, and I hope this helps, guys. Thanks.